Deputy Speaker, the government's misinformation bill is one of the most disturbing pieces of legislation ever put forward by an Australian government. That's David Coleman, the coalition's shadow communications minister, and he's pretending to be very unhappy about Labor's proposed misinformation bill. This is a draft law that was recently released for feedback, and it aims to give more powers to the communications and media regulator, ACMA. But it's odd that the coalition is making such a fuss about this, because when they were in power, they were quite happy to consider the same thing. Just on the disinformation code, so it was an ACCC recommendation that we develop a voluntary code, and the Australian Communications and Media Authority will report uh, to governments by 30 June on the effectiveness of that code uh, if there's a need uh, to um, use uh, uh, stronger powers, then we're certainly prepared to do that. That was Paul Fletcher, who was the Coalition's Communications Minister under Scott Morrison, and he was saying that the Coalition would consider giving more powers to ACMA. He mentioned that the regulator would publish a report on the effectiveness of its current powers. And when ACMA did release that report in June 2021, they made recommendations that asked for their powers to be expanded. The Coalition accepted all of the recommendations. In fact, right before the election, they promised to introduce legislation that would increase the regulator's powers in pretty much the same way as Labor's proposal. And yet all of a sudden, the coalition is acting shocked. We in the coalition will fight this legislation every step of the way. It strikes at the heart of our democratic rights and it is an absolute disgrace. A threat to the freedom of speech of every Australian this is a bad law, it must be stopped. Bin the bill. So what's going on here? To find out, I'm going to release a few videos diving into Labor's misinformation bill. I want to look at where it came from, the coalition's hypocrisy, but also some of the valid criticisms from experts. I also want to cover other initiatives, like the Stop the Lies bill advanced by some independents, which both major parties have been blocking. There's lots to cover, and I hope you find it interesting.